10 protein foods that I recommend as a sports dietitian. Hi, I'm Alexa, sports dietitian and nutritionist. Welcome to my channel, great to have you here. So we all know protein is super popular. It's the most popular macro, in fact. And a common question I always get is, how do I eat more protein? Well, in order to eat more protein, you have to know what kind of foods give you the best kind of hit of protein. And that is why today I'm gonna to share with you 10 high protein, high quality high protein foods for you that you can start implementing in your diet, depending on what your preferences are. So you can start hitting your protein more effectively and start hitting those macros and start achieving those results. So without further ado, let class commence. Number one is chicken. Well, duh. Yeah, this goes without saying, but chicken is just a affordable, easy to make, versatile protein source and super high quality. And by cutting out, for example, the chicken skin, you can make it a very lean protein source at that. Number two is turkey. Pretty much for the same reasons as chicken. It's kind of like chicken part B in a sense, like it's very, very similar. You use it in the same way, it's very high quality, and it can kind of make it a bit more interesting when you're just eating chicken, put in a bit of turkey, make things a bit more interesting. Especially now going towards the festive season, you'll be seeing more turkey products, especially here in Australia at least, and therefore you can start implementing more of that and giving yourself some more variety. Number three is red meat, okay? Anything from lamb to beef to pork to even something like kangaroo here in Australia. While red meat is something that can be less macro friendly than other protein foods because they can tend to have high amounts of fat, it can still form a good solid part of your overall diet strategy, especially if you eat in moderation and especially if you get it for lean sources or cut off the extra fat. Now you've got something a bit more macro friendly but also still providing all that protein goodness that you want. And considering red meat is a great source of iron, it also gives you that little added benefit if it's something that you're looking for. Number four is salmon. Now, salmon is probably my most recommended fish when it comes to my client work and when I'm recommending protein sources for people. The reason is that not only is it a high quality protein, but it gives you a lot of good quality healthy fats as well, omega frees to be specific. So don't shy away from including some salmon in your diet, especially if you like to eat it, because it's gonna give you some health benefits. Number five is a very underrated protein source, and that's prawns or shrimp if you're in the United States. Prawns are such a lean, high quality protein source that I'm honestly surprised that more people don't actually proactively eat it. And it's also pretty versatile. I mean, these days you'll find prawn on pizza. I mean, like it's versatile. You can add it to salads, you can just have it as a side, you can have it on pizza if you want. You know, it doesn't really matter. Just including more prawns in diet, this could be a good idea for you, especially around Christmas time here in Australia. We love our prawns at this time. So use that excuse to kind of up your protein game by upping your prawn game. Number six is eggs. Now eggs have gotten a lot of flack in recent times and maybe more so in recent decades because of the association with eggs and cholesterol. However, we now know, and it's something that I've known for a while, is that eggs don't actually contribute to cholesterol in that kind of way. And they're actually a very, very high quality protein source. One of the best, in fact. And not only is it versatile, it's just an easy way to eat it. You can eat it as a snack, you can have it as a main meal, you can add it to dishes to boost up the protein levels. It really is nature's protein ball with all the other added nutrients to go with it. Number seven is Greek yogurt. More specifically, low fat, high protein Greek yogurt. Brands like Chibani and Yopro, and now you've even seen other brands make it as well, and like no name brands and supermarket brands, they're all going for low fat, high protein yogurt because it's such a great food option to have when you're trying to boost protein, but also trying to boost calcium and other nutrients as well. Honestly, I love yogurt. It's one of my staples. I'll always have a tub of yogurt in my fridge and I'll always add it to things. It's my, one of my more favorite snacks to go for. It's just such a great one. So just go out and buy some yogurt, trust me. Unless you can't tolerate it, that's a different story. But if you can, consider yogurt a new food staple for your protein. Number eight is tofu slash tempeh slash texturized vegetable protein slash anything based on like soybeans. So now we're onto like the vegan friendly options when it comes to protein. And you can't go past something like tofu or something based on soybeans because it's gonna be a complete protein to a degree and it's the highest quality protein you can get as a vegan. So it's really, really recommended that you at least have this as your staple. And despite the notion that tofu is, you know, you know, has no flavor and all this sort of stuff, that's kind of old myths. There's real good ways that you can make plant-based protein taste great. So go ahead, kind of have some fun in the kitchen and start experimenting with more of this because it's gonna really give you a kickstart when it comes to your protein intake. Number nine is cottage cheese. Similar to yogurt, it's just very easy to have in the fridge and have it as a snack or add it to main meals as like a side. Cottage cheese is just a great low calorie, high protein source for your diet. 
There really isn't much more to say than that. It really is just a very much one of those extra things you can add to your diet and it's lean as well. Now, you could also add cheese here as well, not just cottage cheese, but cheese in general is very good quality protein, but it can be higher in calories depending on which cheese you choose. So that's why I didn't include it in this list, but keep in mind that cheese can be still a great source and I eat plenty of cheese over time, so it's not something to be stressed about. And finally, number 10 is low fat milk. I personally drink skim milk and I can tell you right now, it's such a great lean protein option to have in the fridge when you just want a snack, you know, when you want to add it to something, when you want to use it for cereal, it adds more, obviously more protein. If you make your protein shake with milk, it's got more protein. It's just a really inexpensive, easy to use, and really good quality protein source to have. Stop fearing dairy. Dairy can be a fundamental staple when it comes to your protein game and really help you level up the results. Not to mention all the other nutrients you provide, such as calcium, which is so key for bone health, especially over time. So there you go, that's my 10 protein food staples that I recommend as a sports dietitian that I want you now to consider and start implementing in your life to start leveling up your protein game. Now what I wanna know is comment below and let me know, what are your preferred protein sources? You know, what are your go-to protein sources? Let me know in the comments below so I can learn more about what you enjoy. As always, hit the like button if this video has helped you. Okay, to show it some love and show that it has helped you, hit the like button. Until next time, stay classy, see you later, bye.